Mark is the president of the American Postal Workers Union. The APWU uh, represents more than 200,000 USPS employees and retirees. Mark, first of all, just just your general reaction to what we heard uh, from the Postmaster General at this morning's hearing. Were you pleased? Well, it, it's hard to know where to start. There were certain things that pleased me, particularly commitments around mail ballots, which the unions are very dedicated to. Postal workers have been doing vote by mail for generations. It's ever more popular with the people of the country. And in a COVID time, it's the only way tens of millions of people are going to have access to the ballot box and exercise their cherished right to vote. So any commitments in words, uh, I think, are, are uh, uh, positive. Now, those words have to become uh, deeds. My general reaction is that a lot of the statements were general. A lot of them do not comport to the facts on the ground. Uh, we are hearing that they're not orchestrated. We're hearing from customers and workers alike throughout the country that there are serious problems with delays in the mail from medicines to retirement checks to packages. Uh, and it's very disturbing to postal workers. Our, our DNA is to move the mail as if it's our own, treat it as if it's our own, get it to the customer on time. And we're being told to leave mail behind and the system is backing up some and every customer knows that. And to turn it into this idea that somehow these are orchestrated complaints really is a disservice to the American people and, and, and an insult to all postal workers. Hey, hey, Mark, specifically with regards to those those uh, machines that are able to handle uh, large volumes of mail very quickly. The Postmaster General uh, saying that those the machines that have been uh, taken apart, uh, some 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 exclusive video here from NBC News of the machines in question. The, the idea that the post office doesn't need as many of these machines. Well, what what's your response to that? My response to that is while in a general way, equipment does come and go as technology changes and mail changes, that this is an ill-timed uh, choice. Uh, here we are in COVID, mail volume, letter volume is lower, but you don't take out capacity when things are the lowest. Uh, we hope and expect mail to return. We're heading into an election. We're heading into a set. We're in the middle of a census. We're heading into a new holiday season, not that far around the corner. So we think it's a mistake. And it's particularly concerning when it's tied into some of the other changes. There was a conversation about the, uh, the, the, the elimination or drastic reduction of overtime. That is happening out there. And that's really a key component of why mail is backing up. Overtime was running at 15 or 20 percent. Some of that's a lack of staffing. Some of it's COVID. We've had 40,000 people in the Postal Service quarantined since March. Somebody has to make up for those hours of work. But if you just arbitrarily take out 15 or 20 percent of the hours of work and the mail is still there, then it doesn't get work. Those things have to be corrected. And we did not hear those kind of commitments that are really going to reverse those policies. They need to be reversed. And this is not just about mail for the next three months. It's not just about ballots as important as they are. Don't tell the American people we're going to fix this for three months and then we're going to go back to delaying your medicines, your checks, all your information, all the way to your birthday cards that are just as important to some people as anything else. And I send my birthday cards to my grandchildren. Mark Diamondstein, we're going to leave it there. That's a good spot to leave it. Thank you, sir. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.